This is Terror House Radio with Matt Forney and Bryden Proctor. Yeah, welcome to Terror House Radio. I'm Matt Forney, Charming the Quitch's host and the founder and editor in chief of Terror House Press. And as a not commandum, uh, we are out. How cool would that be? Wrong, we ought to do one of those. Wrong, wrong time to do that. That's when we should do it, though. We should have just we should have an episode that's just that, the intro and then the outro. <laughs> and then that's it. And this is my co-host and occasional producer, the world's only comedian, Brian Proctor. Hey, buddy. I'm doing I'm doing okay. Uh, one of my earbuds is dead, apparently, because I can't hear anything in my right ear. Yeah, I don't it could know. Also, it could also be that I've gone deaf in that ear, but that could be a thing. I don't know. I I don't know if I uh am only coming through uh on the no i just listened to it just now and uh yeah it's fine so i think it's just your earbud yeah because like when i played the intro music i only heard that in the left earbud too so yeah whatever i mean <clears throat> again i don't remember the. i, I honestly god don't remember when i bought these it has to have been like a year ago or something so them them going no it's not surprising yeah, earbuds are just fucking lame like that. Like it's it's they're great to travel with. Like the ones that I had uh that Delta Airlines gave me, uh which been about a year. Um one of those just it started going out and it's like okay, I just got the one. It's just for <laughs> at work, so I can listen to Glenn Beck in the morning as I'm working. Shit, I just remember I think I have a pair of earbuds lying around the Turkish Airlines gave me. Oh, but yeah. I don't know where they are. Well, then they don't do you much good. Because I think they're one of those two prong ones. I'm not sure if that helps with a, like a computer because it's a just two one. prong. Yeah, like, what you've never you've never gotten one of those like on airplanes. They'll they'll give you earbuds, but they instead of having just like the one prong for plugging hmm. in, they'll have two. Yeah, I haven't got that. That must be like an overseas thing because like I've gotten those on like on foreign airlines like Aeroflot and Turkish Airlines. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I've never seen that shit. Uh, I was impressed that Delta gave me the free ones, though. I was like, oh, boy. And then they were like, yeah, but also no booze. And don't talk to us. And wear a mask. And here's some Cheez-Its and the smallest water bottle in the world. So welcome to Delta. Go fuck yourself. Like, it was a it's a goddamn nightmare. Trip was fun. But, man, what are you going to do? Flying sucks. Yeah, it's no good. It was already bad. It was already not a great thing, and everybody complains about it, even though airports are fun, you know. Airports are fun. I mean, I don't are I don't you, are you kidding me? No, airports are fun, dude. You Brian, like Brian, did you get the shot? Is the spike protein clogging up the arteries in your brains? No, listen, airports are fun because airport bars are fun. Yeah, you're paying a lot, I'll but give you're you, I'll give you a little bit there. Airports are cool, man. There's people from all over and like, you know, it's like what it's what diversity should be or what they sell you for like college campuses. They're like, look at how diverse. But, you know, you, you only see these people for a little bit. You don't talk to any of them. And then you go and pay it's $9 so awesome for beer. being at the airport. It's so awesome being frizzed and having your, your fleshy bits padded down. It's so awesome being in a state of constant anxiety, dragging your stuff around. The PSAs, the P- idiots on segways telling you to wear your mask. Um, and and we're in, you're not going to be able to make it from one end of the city and city size fucking building to the other to make your flight on time. Yeah, why airports are great. Why don't you calm down, okay? Airports are kind of cool, or they used to be. They're not anymore. Flying stinks now, and you they don't have any of the bars and stuff. But it used to be cool. You'd meet people just getting drunk. You know, other rascals like yourself sitting there getting drunk before your flight. It was fun. It was a fun experience. It was the only good thing about flying was getting fucking obliterated, and it cost you like nine hundred dollars. But it was still neat. You'd meet oil barons and princes from from Madagascar and I, Colonel Mustard, Professor Plum. You'd get you'd get food poisoning from the checkers. You might. You might. It's a gamble every time. And those little personal pan Pizza Hut pizzas. Come on, dude. Like, that's the greatest. You're drunk as shit. There's a layover. You're running around. It's fun. That's a fun part of flying. And then, like, you know, everything else stinks. But that's a fun part of flying. Maybe you just don't know how to fun- have fun in life. All right? Me, I always try to seek out the silver lining in every situation, Matt. 
Okay, SpongeBob. Yeah, I don't know how to have fun. I didn't get the SpongeBob reference, probably because I'm not eight. Where have you been hanging out? For God's sake, we're the same age. I watched mm-hmm. SpongeBob as a kid. I did not. That was too cool. Yeah, I was too- watching Party of Five. I was gonna say you were watching some. Du- you were watching. You were watching some dude's sausage. No, is that a show? No. Oh, it's a really, it's a really bad child molestation joke. Oh, so you like to joke about those things? Yes. Mm, I don't know, Matt. I don't think that's. I don't think that's pretty cool. You know, we are coming into a new year. Maybe you had a your New Year's resolution to be maybe less of a uh, scumbag. You know, there's so- real problems in the world. All right. And some people are falsely accused of them, like Ghislaine Maxwell, all right, who's rotting away. Her and her just great set of knockers just rotting away in prison. Think of those boobs. They're, those boobs are they are so lonely. They're going to be skeletons by the time she's, you know, she's out. She's never getting out, dude. She's, <laughs> she's going to, she's done. She's, uh, uh that, first off, that's not how breast tissue works. Second, uh, um, it is. There's bones in there. There's little skull, skulls in there. With like, yeah, they got like eyes in the hole, and they're like, gang, 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 gang. that's you've never seen a boob before. I don't think you have. That's how they work. Look it up. Look up skull boobs, boob skulls. You're a boob skull. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not. Oh, who have, you been, who, who have you been fucking? Goddamn Ch- Ch- Cthulhu's wife? Well, no. I mean, so, like, when I met Erica in the bog, she rose out of it, and she had on a pointy hat, and then I remember she was like, I have an elixir, and then it was something, and then it's always been, like, a wave of, like, hallucinations and, and things like that, Um, you know, ever since then. And then five but, years later, you're dying. Yeah. I might have lost a, a a fiddle bet as well at some crossroads. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, if you find this, if you find this entertainment worth your time, if you have questions for I Brian don't. or myself, streamlabs.com slash Terror House Magazine will read them later on the show. But yeah, how about that? Uh, how about that Ghislaine Max- Maxwell? Ghislaine. I, what kind of it's a Ghislaine. fucking name is that? Uh, it's just spelled weird. I think it's like just because British people are stupid. She's all high society hoity toity. But I like I've heard it pronounced uh, uh, Ghislaine and then Gillian as well. Um, Gillian. Yeah, I don't know how she pronounces it. I don't care. I've only heard her talk one time, and it was in some clip about how like the ocean is bad because of people or some shit. I don't know. But sixty four years that's that's not enough. Honestly, sixty four years isn't enough. Fuck her. I'm glad. But the thing is, now they've sealed everything and we're supposed to go. That's that. Pedophilia over. Like, no. Well, everyone seemed to kind of miss the whole point of the Epstein thing. It wasn't the it wasn't the sex trafficking in and of itself. That was bad. It was sure. that this was being used to blackmail people. That part's been totally ignored. Yeah. Um a certain a certain individual named Wang Lin brought up a good point about this recently. Um, how can you have an entire trial, the Ghislaine Maxwell trial, without talking about the motive for the sex trafficking? Well, they might have. I don't know. No, I didn't they didn't. Hear anything about no, it? They didn't. It's just like it's just like Epstein and, and Ghislaine were running this 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 sex trafficking operation in the Virgin Islands for no re- no reason, no reason whatsoever, no innovation. They they just they, they they it was for the love of the game, man. It had nothing to do with the CIA or Mossad or any types of intelligence agencies at all. And That's what we're and- supposed to believe. That's just the way that it happened. All right. It was just because they liked it so much and they liked it was money, Matt. It was and every, about and, the every, money. and every like notable person in politics, finance, celebrities went there for some reason. Chris Tucker. Except except Mark Zuckerberg for some reason. I think they had like stopped doing it by the time Zuckerberg kind of really came up. I think they I think they just snubbed him. They have a no robots policy because they're racist. Ah, they had Stephen Hawking there. Well, I mean, they also Epstein said that he refused to pimp out black girls. So, well, I mean, dude, he was a he was like a, a money manager guy. So, I mean, just business sense, you know, nobody said he, he didn't have a good business mind. Like, you got to think of your you know return on investment, dude. Or maybe he was super progressive. I don't know. Black Lives Matter, Jeffrey Epstein could have happened. 
I don't know. I didn't know the guy. I wasn't on the island. Some, unlike some people, Matt. That joke, that joke isn't going to work. Everyone knows I'm, I'm not rich enough to or famous enough to be on Epstein's Island. But you are pedophile enough. Ha ha! Bull! Terror House Radio, bitch! Last episode of the year. I'm not drunk yet. Bud Lights do almost nothing for me. You need to start oh. drinking, I don't know, Lagunitas or something with a higher alcohol proof. Nah. Well, I mean, I drink the whiskey, but like Lagunitas is just fucking shit beer, dude. Lagunitas stinks. I think this is awesome. Ugh, I don't like it. Glad you like it. I mean, clearly people do. It's been around forever. People drink it, but eh, I don't like it. It's a Wisconsin beer, right? Um, Illinois. Yeah, Chicago. Eh, I don't like it. Eh, Lagunitas. No thanks. Yingling's also not that fucking good. I don't know why people go nuts for Yingling. Yingling is... Uh... I mean, you know, if I'm drinking shitty beer, usually drink Paps, but I've been going on a... a, a a Budweiser Bud Light thing recently. Uh, I figure I'm at that age. I'm that. I'm that type of guy now. I'm like, I'll have a, a Bud Light. Oh, excuse me. Good God. Yeah, I am filled with the gas today. I'm gonna it's have Bud Light. Ends, Matt. I'm gonna watch some wrestling. Yeah, I would love to watch some fucking wrestling. That would rule. That's that. No, that's who I want to be. I'll just wear. I I wear like wear hats. I'll. You know, you don't smoke Marlboro. Yeah, I don't like Marbs, but yeah, you know, it'd be good. It'd be good. There's worse things to be, like for instance, in prison for sex trafficking. You know, you know who never had a Bud Light in her life? Fucking Ghislaine Maxwell. Where you did it hit her? You don't know that. She's never had a Bud Light. Are you kidding me, dude? She's never even had a beer. Like that's a peasant drink, dude. She never even had a beer. Like, it, beer doesn't mix well with the blood of fucking children, man. <laughs> She's not having a beer. Ugh. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, like, I feel like a lot of shit has happened over the past few days, and I'm just not too motivated to, to even talk about it. Like, dude, God, it's the end of the year. We got a whole nother year. Like, this isn't like it's the last one yet. We got at least probably another one. And I'm just, yeah, you know, I'm tired. But but enough about COVID lockdowns. Uh, how about that uh, exactly. Jack Murphy guy? I don't care about Jack fucking Murphy. I don't know who this dude is. And everybody on Twitter is like, do you know he did gay porn and let people fuck his wife? I'm like, who is that guy? I don't care. Fuck that I, guy. I, I don't care. I don't understand why you don't drive Schadenfreude from such a situation, or at least find it funny. Because I don't know who he is. If you like, you were to tell me like some guy I knew who it was, I'd be like, "Oh, that is funny." But you're telling it's like you're just coming up to me and you're going, "Hey, there's a guy that has gay sex and is a cuckold." I'm like, "They exist and they're fucking all over the damn internet." Why do I care about this one? Well, I mean, I I, I did inform you that Jack Murphy is um, he's he's close friends with your good pal Mike Cernovich. Oh, yeah, uh, he's Mike also Cernovich. real close with Jack Basovic, who I know you're a huge fan of. Jack, Basovic. of course, Agent Agent Pazzo, yeah. So, yeah, and he's a masculinity teacher or whatever he calls himself with a, a secret gay clubhouse group. And now he's well, what's, uh, what's more masculine than just the fellas. All right. There's nothing that's that exudes masculinity. If it's just he puts up a sign that says no girls allowed and his crying wife is in the corner while he's just railing out a dude. He's like, fellas, fellas, fellas. And then they shit his honor. First off, he's a bottom, I can tell. He's not the one railing. He's the one getting railed. Uh, second, um, it's just funny. Like, I I just I just like Jack Murray for you. I didn't really pay attention to him because, like, he's boring and interesting. But watching all this is funny to me. I, because you knew who he was beforehand. Like, I this is the first I'm hearing of this dude. So to me, it is people were just like, that guy's gay. And I'm like, yep. I guess I meant I imagine a lot of the people like talking about him didn't know who he was either, but they still probably not funny. because because it's all a bunch of fucking dumb little like clout chasing dick faces who are like, hopefully if I make a cool tweet about this guy, then that I'll be the cool guy. And then haha, then we'll find out that I am a cuckold who does gay porn. Who gives a shit? Fuck all of you. Like I don't you know, there's so many more important things. The Golden Maxwell thing, for example. Way more bits to be had about that. Way more interesting of a thing. Who the fuck is Jack Murphy? 
Now I just know about this guy, and the only thing I know about him are his sexual habits. Uh, I will, I will say this: if anyone sends in any stories to Terror House about Jack Murphy getting fist we'll fucked, published them. I'm gonna lose it. We'll, we'll publish it, it, but I'm gonna lose my mind. Why are you gonna lose your mind? Are you gonna get too fucking horny? <laughs> No, because I had to look at the gay porn, and... Why are you looking at the gay porn? Because everyone's posting it on Twitter! So, again, this is why I'm left out of the loop. Don't care about this Jack Murphy fella. You're so enthralled with this story that you were like, I've got to see this guy fuck a dude. Everyone is posting it on Twitter. I can't that has get not popped up on my time. That is not that part has not popped up on my fucking timeline. That's because you only follow retards. Yeah, yeah, retards who don't spam my timeline with gay porn. Yeah, I yeah, I'm the dumb one, Matt. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Why do you like this guy so much? I don't. I hate him. I think this is hilarious, and I think he's probably going to kill himself uh, from all this, uh, uh, this, this, this exposure of his habits. Right now, he's in the middle of. Uh, Why you do know, you want this guy to kill himself? What I is never wrong said with wanted, you? I didn't say I wanted him to. No, kill you want himself. a glimmer in your fucking eye. You're like, <laughs> then maybe he's going to kill himself. <laughs> what is your dick? De- what if this guy, I don't know who this guy is. Like, if it was a guy that, like, was well-known, how well-known is this dude? Yeah, let's see, 50,000 Twitter followers. He's a regular co-host on Tim Pool's show. Um, Tim Pool's a pretty big guy. Um, yeah. You know, he, he wrote a best-selling book, supposedly. I never see the sales numbers. Everybody's book is best-selling. It's like the best-selling book that I ever wrote. That's what that means. <laughs> no, I just, I'm not sure... He famously got fired for like rape apologia or something from the DC oh. school district. Oh, well, see, like that's interesting. Uh I haven't looked too deeply into that, but like uh So you you don't know you don't know the only interesting part of this guy's thing. Instead, you're like Why that's the, you make that's, that's the interesting part to you. Yeah, is that he was fired from the DC school district for apologizing for rape? That's a way more interesting story than that guy who, if you were like, he was fired from the D.C. school just for apologizing for rape, I would go, oh, yeah, that guy definitely does gay porn. Why is that the surprising part? I don't know. I mean, I mean, the whole thing about him, I mean, this uh, this all started because he lost his shit. Um, I'm, what was it? Elijah Schaefer show. Someone sent in a who super chat that? about the cup. He's associated with Glenn Beck, I think. Oh, um, oh, he did the guy, the guy who had uh, Fuentes on. Yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. The Jack, guy who Jack always Murphy act- was on the show. Jack Murphy was on the show. You know, someone sent in a super chat about uh, about the Cork article he wrote back in 2015, and instead of just playing off or being like, "Yeah, I did some you know gross stuff years ago, but I'm a different person," he lost his shit and t- insulted the woman who who you know read it, and from there everything else spiraled. So this is – that's, I think, part of the reason why I find it funny why a lot of people find it funny. He's in this situation because of his own hubris. Well, that's everybody. But, like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's just a, it's just a weird one. What people choose to fixate on now on the Twitter thing, I'm like, but there's – nobody cares about the – like the Joe Biden, like, dropping the whole COVID, caring about any of that. They're like, no, this guy's gay. I'm like, probably because we don't believe it. And there's going to be lockdowns next month. I don't believe that. I don't believe that at all. And here, let me tell let me tell you my, my theory as to why they're really walking that back. This is not, this is not a win. Really. This is not bode well for our futures. I think that they know something we don't know about how bad economically things are going to get. I think that that's it. I think that it's, it's over the tipping point that they're like, fuck it. We need to get people to work. And that's, uh, yeah, five day quarantine. Uh, fuck the, the, the PCR test. All that. I think that it's worse than people realize. And that's what this is, what the, the real deal is for this. I think that that's why. And like, listen, in, in fucking Chicago and New York, California, like, you know, all of these fucking places, They'll probably have all these fucking restrictions for years to come. 
it was definitely happening. But there's never been a federal lockdown. I, there's not going to be. Um, but I think the the push now is to get people back to work because holy fuck, things are about to get seven dollar can of beans bad. You're actually going to pull the whole work and consume thing that boomers invented. People have to. Do, do you, you know nothing about the economy? You now, know look, nothing about like what has been written for decades. What the oh elite wants to do. The elite, the Jews, Matt, the fucking Jews, Matt. Jesus, fuck. Listen, you will be wrong about this one. They have to have a new lie, okay? If to, to do any type of that shit, but you have to have people fucking working. The economy is a very fucking delicate process. All right, everything does fucking fall apart. Just because some boomers it, it, it said something that you don't like in between your stints of watching a guy you hate fuck another dude. Does not mean that this doesn't make sense. All right. I've been complaining about, oh man, they're going to fuck the economy up. They're going to fuck the whole thing up. They're going to fuck the whole thing up. It's so much worse than they're letting on. I guarantee fucking tea it. That's a huge thing. Tons of people are losing tons of money. People care about that. Now, do the, the Jews at the top care? No, they're set. They're fine. Right. But yes. there's still people, and there's only so much. They're trying to with the with the fucking vaccines at this point. They're trying to draw blood from a fucking stone. All right, the people that are go, that are getting them will continue to get them for the rest of their fucking lives. They will. But there's no new people going on with this. They've got to get people back to fucking work. The whole thing will fall apart without it. Everything, everything. First off, I enjoy how your face turned a shade of red when you started that. Rant. Well, because it's fucking annoying to me when you talk to me about money. But remember when Klaus Schwab wrote about how the goal of, people, of society is to get people to work and consume in the fourth industrial revolution? Remember when he wrote about that? Klaus Schwab is a fucking dipshit, and this is all falling apart. Doesn't mean they won't try it again, but this is all falling apart. What is, what did we just say? What destroys their fucking, what destroys man every time? His own fucking hubris. What does the left always do? They go, ah, more, 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 more. And then they overreach and they fall apart. It happens every fucking time. Every fucking time. That's what's happening now. There, there, there is the possibility of these lockdowns. However, it will not be federal. There's no fucking, they're, they're really in a bind here. They're really in a fucking bind. I don't know how they call off all their crazy supporters and go, oh, actually, COVID was fake the whole time. Oopsie daisies. Right? They've got people on TV fucking saying well, that. They literally, like, th we're talking about people who went from hug a Chinese person, Corona doesn't is no big deal, uh, you're a racist if you worry about it, to we need a lockdown now to cr yep. crush the curve uh, and stay the fuck home so you don't kill grandma in the space of a month. I don't think this is going to be a huge shift for a lot of people. Yeah. I mean, it's easy for them to just repeat those same things. You know, it was beneficial for them at the time because Trump was like, we got to close it off to China. China's China's a mess. It's got the disease, the Kung flu. We got to we got to blah, blah, blah. Right. So they do the opposite of what that is. Now. It's it's beneficial for them and enough of these bozos probably will follow along with it eventually if they repeat it enough. Fine. I'm glad that they're against all of this shit, but they're going to get the damn boosters every day of their life for the rest of their fucking life. That's fine. Whatever. I don't care. Fuck those people. Have fun with your mitocarditis. I don't care. Right? Fuck those guys. But they, this can't keep going on. They need a new way to do it. And I think that the scariest part is going to be that we are worse off economically than their people are letting on. Like, major fucking issues. Huge fucking issues. Well, yeah. I mean, you've been screaming to me for a while now How about the sky is falling because the dollar and stuff. And yep. And if, uh, yeah, and if they destroy the dollar, you, me, and everyone we know will fucking die. That's a bit dramatic. It's but... not a bit dramatic. Through violence or starvation, we will die. That's it. And if you do live, what type of a life are you living? You're stabbing a guy. The so awesome gonna... fallout lifestyle? No, that's not what happens to guys like us. That's not. You know what happens? You're like, your, your life is uh, like, I've stabbed three people this week so that they wouldn't take my tarp. I, I worked hard. I, I, I spent a lot of days stabbing to get this tarp. <laughs> we all get to live a real life open world video game. 
How could that not be awesome? Video games are now illegal. They've melted your brain, your boob skull, <laughs> to the point you think that that would be a cool life to really live. <laughs> not just roaming the wasteland with your dog and your burned out Camry. You would eat your dog. You would have to eat your dog. <laughs> I can't eat my dog. Dog tears out the throats of people, so I don't have to no, stab No, it doesn't. Them. It's a dog. So usually... <laughs> They get shot, and if you get shot, well, you shoot a dog one time, then he's done. It's not, again, it's not like the video games where it goes, oh, I don't actually die. I just run away and put my tail between my legs, and then you can go, oh, now you're fine. I pet it. No, it just dies, and then somebody else eats it after they shoot you. It's not a good thing. Won't happen. You're not getting a suit of armor. You're not getting shit. You're probably, so, somebody, if they don't shoot you, let me just beat you up and take your shoes. <laughs> then you don't have any shoes. <laughs> Like five guys come over and just boop, bonk you on the head, and then you wake up and you're like, "Wow, I'm glad I wasn't dead. My asshole hurts. Presumably, I've been raped, and uh, my shoes are gone." <laughs> it's not the way. It's not a good thing. I figured. I figured they were going to rape. They would do worse things to take the shoes, like yeah, I don't know, kidneys. No, what? What? Yeah, all of these, I've heard, all I've of heard. these surgeons are just wandering the land with kidneys and all of it. No, they're not. Human organs are always valuable, Bryden. Yeah, what are you gonna what are you gonna store them in? Ice? Oh yeah, all that ice, where's that coming from? Water, it's everywhere. Okay, but you gotta you gotta make it, right? And you for that you're gonna need what? Electricity? Fat fucking chance, Dick had the dollars gone. Everything's on fire. <laughs> I'm telling you, if the, if the dollar fails, every person that we know will die. It'll be brutal. You're not going to make it. And if you did make it through some weird chance, you'd wish you hadn't. Surely, surely now uh, inflation will destroy the dollars as increasingly certain nervous libertarian for the seventh millionth time this century. I, I'm, I'm telling you, if you don't think that this is a problem, you're crazy. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. People said that this was going to happen 15 years ago when we had the last recession, and it didn't. Mm -hmm. okay. All these apocalyptic predictions. Oh, all those apocalyptic predictions, like uh, the government is going to lock everybody in their homes and uh, inject them with experimental medicines. Yeah, they said that too, and people thought, "What a loony! That person's crazy." And then where are we at? This is a possibility. It's not a certain future. It is something to be concerned about. And if people who are long listeners to this show will know how the fuck long I've been going, I don't like this. 15 days. They're going to really destroy the economy. I don't. Know. And then now, we're, here we are, I'm like, Oh, no, there's no coming back at all. I think we are completely screwed. Uh, now, maybe introducing the U.S. digital dollar will do something, but that's ultimately some weird control shit anyway. Bitcoin. It won't be Bitcoin. It'll be the U.S.'s own digital dollar thing, but it'll still be some blockchain bullshit. I guarantee it. They've already passed. Uh, uh, it was either through the House. I think it was through the House uh, in one of their giant spending bills or some shit. I think it may have already been in there but you know money put aside for let's have a u.s digital dollar now how does that work uh you'll have this we're switching over to the u.s digital dollar everybody and uh yeah it's yeah you'll have less money on on, on paper but uh it'll be good black people same money Cha chow equity it'll be that type of thing if that happens i, I i'm not saying it's the totally going to happen what I am saying is this is cause for concern. The economy should be everyone's biggest fucking issue right now. That and they are apparently stealing your kids at schools and shipping them to Ghislaine Maxwell. Uh, I'm not sure. But I don't have kids. I don't go to those board meetings. I, I, I don't really know what's going on. And they're making them trans or something, I think. I think they're doing that. Well, the good thing about the economy is that we can just, you, if, if we have any debts or whatever, we can just print more money to pay it off because money's just a number on I'm going to go take a piss. I'm going to go pee. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be the angriest 
pissed than I've ever recorded in human history. But yeah, uh, news. Um, I actually don't believe that. Uh, in case you didn't know, kids, this is called uh, this is called being the heel, so that uh, you have an interesting argument slash discussion to watch on this program. It's all smoke and mirrors. In actuality, Brian and I agree on pretty much everything. But anyway, news. Uh, next week, um, actually, I should go over what's going on this week. Terror House Christmas Sale. Link is in the description. All of our paperbacks and audio books are 25% off. Ebooks are 99 cents. Merch is 20% off. And you see Brian wearing that beautiful Terror House t shirt. You can get that for 20% off. And everything else is on sale at terrorhousepress.com. Our Christmas sale, it will end on Sunday. Better buy now. And next week, um, our next book, Full Moon Reaction by Justin Jeffrey, is coming out. Um, it's an exploration of America's occult history. Interspersed with personal reflections and sardonic political solutions. We posted a couple of excerpts at Terror House over the past week called A Wagey Life and Dating. They're great. Go check them out. And we'll have an interview with Justin Jeffrey, print interview next week. Uh, check that out. Full Moon Reaction coming January 7th. Those books or something? Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> we won't be able to print those. They'll be worth more than money soon because they can be used as fucking toilet paper. I can see the piss did not improve your mood. No. No, I had to come back here. <laughs> to the button pushing factory. <laughs> <laughs> like I know you're fucking I know you don't believe this and I know you're just trying to push my buttons, but it's still it's infuriating to hear because it's like it's not how that fucking works at all. You know. <laughs> But, you know, it's fine. Good. Keep doing that. And then everybody, I hope you enjoy the fucking world you make, okay? Because I'll be dead. I'll be fucking dead. And you will be too. But I'll be dead first. Because I'm going to go, I'm done. Fuck it. It's done. I won't give a shit anymore. I'll be done with it. I, it won't matter. I'm not going to starve to death or get raped to death by raiders. All right? I'll just kill myself. <laughs> Fucking lunatics. Because there's people that actually believe this. Like, that are in Congress. And they're like, no, it's fine. We can pay all this stuff. Let's just, we control the money. Let's just print more of it and then pay it. It's like, well, that's not, that's like a, that's like what a child would say. <laughs> like, whatever. What the fuck ever, man. I don't care. Stock market's doing great. You know, that's not a worrying sign when it stock market doesn't reflect the, uh, you know, actual uh, <laughs> state of the economy. That's not parallels that uh, that we've seen in the past. No, oh, everything will be OK. Good Lord. Let's get them another stimulus. That'll be cool, right? Everybody, look, this time, everybody gets $50,000. How's nope. that? There's not going to be a stimulus coming. I can tell you that Fuck much. No. Fuck no, they're not doing that, nor should In fact, they. next year they're going to go hardcore austerity. I mean, probably should, but yeah. I do think that that's funny. The funniest thing is the uh, 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 people upset because they actually thought Biden was going to cancel student debt. But what made you think that? I'm going to say this right now. Joe Biden is going to make Rand Paul look like a communist. Well, that would rule. <laughs> how much he slashes the budget and how much he fucks your lives up. He takes away all your nice little entitlements. Uh, enjoy that student loan extension uh, Till July, moratorium. It's not coming back. May, you're going to pay it again. Yeah, um, even according to the, uh, uh, to the logic of MMT, you have to have people paying those debts down and paying taxes in order to keep inflation down. I mean – I would like Joe Biden if he made Rand Paul look like a communist. That would rule. I'd be on that Biden bus real quick, going, "Yeah, he's like a retarded person, but I like this part of him." Except when the except when the police are cut in your area due to budget cutbacks, there won't be anyone to stop uh, uh, clown rape gangs from coming to your house. Mm, I'm pretty sure that in a lot of areas in this country, uh, that's already the case. So let's we're not we're not seeing much of a change here, Matt. That would rule. Libertarian and Cap Biden and Cap Biden would be the best. I would mm. love it. It's all great until it's all, it's all great until people who've been laid off or had their entitlements cut burn your village down. 
what I don't live in a village and I don't know why they'd be mad at me about that's a whole different thing. Why would they I mean like I could see if they were like, hey, we need to steal that guy's food. But I don't know why they would just they're like, I don't have a job anymore. Time to set fires. Like who are these orcs that <laughs> this is happening? Well, I mean, remember that remember that incident where a guy got uh, got choked to death by a cop and everyone decided yeah. it was a good idea to burn random businesses? Yeah, yeah. There you go. Well, I don't own a random random business. And uh, I think that those are people that didn't really have jobs anyway. So there's there's that. I think they were just looking for an excuse to do that. So like really anything, I mean, they're going to pretty much do that no matter what. That's gonna. That's happening. I'm waiting for another uh, 2020 reprise, dude. Uh, a little reprisal of the 2020 orchestra. A big snood black lives. That'll be. That'll be. That'll be fun. I don't know why they'll bring it out, but I think they're gonna have to. There hasn't been riots for like. Six months, man. Yeah, it's almost like the riots were centrally controlled. It's weird. It's a, it's a weird one there. Hmm. Oh, well. At least Ghislaine Maxwell is in prison. Yeah, we'll never see those knockers again. Oh, well. What is she going to do in prison? She's going to be in solitary, you know that. Yeah, I'm sure. Probably, she, she's probably going to kill herself. With what? Oh, right, 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 yeah. Toilet paper in a bunk or something like that, you know. Because, like, apparently I saw this thing. Uh, it was like, Ghislaine Maxwell may name names to lessen her 64-year sentence. One, no, she's not. Uh, I'm sure she's already tried that, and they were like, yeah, we don't care. You're going down for this. Um, but, you know, too, like, I mean, it's 64 years. How many people, like, was going to be like, oh, yeah, Donald Trump. It's like, eh. I guess Chris Tucker. Oh boy, Matt Groening. Oh boy, eh, you know she's not gonna name any like actual people, like intelligence agency people. They're not gonna go after them. She's gonna rot in prison. And good, fuck her. Wish I could fuck her. I think that should be her punishment. We'll let her out if if all the fellas get a turn. You know. Uh, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that would end like what happened to Chris Chan's mom. She would be raped by Chris Chan. What I mean, <laughs> no, she had she had severe vaginal injuries from uh, Chris Chan raping her. Yeah, I kind of forgot about that, that, that whole that, thing. Because that because that at, at that age, the vagina is not meant to be used in that manner. The hell old is she? Not Chris Chan's mom, Galang. She's like sixty four or something. Is she really? God damn, she's, she's pretty old. Huh. Ooh. She looks good for 64, I mean. Or at least in the pictures I've seen, but yeah, I forgot about all these. 60 years old. Yeah, I was oh, yeah. a little bit, but that's still yeah. that's still pretty up there. Like like that old that old it's just a just a dusty dry claptrap now. It was like a like a raisin. Yeah. Doesn't yeah. doesn't doesn't stretch or deform like it's supposed to. Yeah. So uh, you know, repeated abrasion would definitely cause serious injuries. Well, you know, it's that or sixty four years, bitch. Take your choice. Ooh. Or, I mean, we ought to be able to see her tits. You know, she's a monster, right? So we ought to be able to see her babies. No, the way that it is. I mean, I mean, 40, 50, 30 years ago, yeah, but. When were those photos taken? Like 10 or 20 years ago. There's got to be some pictures of her boobies. There has to be. Out of all those photos, there's got to be some photos of her boobies. Yeah, I mean, the government seized all the evidence, so, like, they've got to have something. Maybe they deleted it from the official uh, exhibits, and, like, one guy is just keeping it for his private collection. Oh, dude, it's more than one guy. I guarantee there's plenty of people that are like, ah, stole this from the evidence locker. High fives. They're like, boobies, boobies, boobies. I picture the FBI is just kind of like a frat house. <laughs> Like the American dad CIA. That's how I really picture the FBI. There are probably only certain divisions like that. They're like, ah, yeah, the the fucking 
the uh you know the the Tampa FBI really knows how to party. You know, not like our stuck up Maryland FBI. I'm put looking in for a transfer. I hear they got a keg in the office down in Tampa. <laughs> What the hell else is there, dude? It's the end of the year, Matt. How long have we been doing this fucking show for? Two years. Two fucking years. We finally run out of things to talk about? No. Is this the end of Terror House Radio? Well, I mean, the the sub, the, the title is It's Not Over, so no, unfortunately. It is over. I think that it's over emotionally. We've lost the steam. We'll never make a mediocre episode of bullshit, but that's like the podcast that people listen to after all of the other podcasts that they listen to that week. We're definitely like everybody's like fourth favorite podcast. They're like, ah, shit, man. Uh, new episodes of that aren't out yet. I guess I'll go listen to Brian and Matt. <laughs> that's, you know. I know. I listen. I know my place in the world. All right. We're not. We're not. We're not on the A list. We're on the C list, Matt. People skip weeks with us. All right. But they run out of stuff. They take road trips, and then they're like, "Let me see what the Terror House boys are up to." And that's when we come in. We are the we are the Diet Coke of your podcast. They're like, ah, sorry, we're out of we're out of regular. I'll have a diet. Well, your fa- your place in the world, Bryden, is uh, with your face stuffed in Jack Murphy's crotch. I guess I don't know. I don't know the guy. Apparently, he does pretty well for himself and gets laid constantly. So, well, I mean, the his his excuse was that he ran out of money in like 2019, so that was why he did gay porn. Sure, which is funny because like that's after he started his grift operation, his website. Well, I mean, I don't know, maybe. I, I don't know. I <laughs> Is that a normal thought process for the average guy? Oh, I'm broke. I'm going to do gay porn now. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's... Well, I mean, that was everybody's 2020, right? I'm not the only one. Yeah. Right, is there anything you'd like to admit? Yeah, I, yeah. I did, I, I, I did gay porn today. Duh. It was either gay porn or it was just I, I I was tricked. Does gay porn usually happen in like bus stations off of Craigslist ads that you respond to under casual does encounters? It usually, does it usually require you being blindfolded? Yes. Do you get money? Because I didn't. You're supposed to get money. So I th- he said he would cash at me, but I think I just got raped. <laughs> I don't think that I even did gay porn. I think I was raped. <laughs> he said he was like, "Don't worry, the security cameras will pick it up." And I was like, "Good, because you're ignoring the safe word." You know, I I, I think that maybe I think that maybe I was and you were, I was and, hoodwinked. And, and, what you didn't say? Oh, there was security cameras. This is a bathroom. Is it? Yeah, they kind of. I kind of thought about that afterwards. You know, I was like, "Wait a minute." I think I was. I think I was bamboozled. I think I don't think that that was I don't think that was an acting gig at all, Matt. I think I was just pounded into the ass by a man. I empathize. I, I empathize, empathize, Bryden. Empathize, but not sympathize because the experience was never mine. Well, he said he was like, "Yo, I'm a libertarian too," and I was like, "Cool friends," and then. You know, I thought I thought we were just businessmen together. I thought that that's what we were doing is making business. Well, he did his business. He did I his think, business I think right I, I think in your was, butthole. Yeah, I think I was bamboozled. I think <laughs> I, that's not going to happen to me for a third time. I, I'll tell you that. Lesson learned. Man. What do you what, what, what do we have to look forward to in 2022? Like, I don't know a single person that's like, you know, it's going to be, you know, it's the, the new year. Like, you remember back in like 2019 and stuff and every year before that, people were like, you know, it's the new year and like new me, baby. I'm going to start hitting the gym and, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to learn to play the guitar at 30. 
you know, this is, woo, boy, this is going to be, I got all these plans. I'm going to, I'm going to travel. And, uh, you know, and then I, not one person that I have talked to has any plans. They're like, oh, I guess I'm going to see what happens and get older. Is that an um, age thing or is that speak, people speak, have been beaten? Speak, speak for yourself. 2022 is going to be great for me. I'm going to make a ton of money. I'm going to buy a, I'm going to buy a beachfront property in El Salvador. The money will become more useless. You're not buying shit because you'll own nothing and be happy. Um, I, you're probably Wait, actually deaf in your left ear now. That's <laughs> not the headphones. You're just deaf now. <laughs> for after weeks of me scream for years of me screaming at you, you are a deaf man in your left ear now. I don't have any I don't have any hope uh for for the year. But I don't you, know anybody that does. You've never had hope, Bryden. Yeah, but I mean I'd still kind of fool myself into it. I'm like, all right, you know, this maybe it won't be that bad because this last year was awful. And then then now it's it's just gonna get worse. Like it'll just be worse. Like good things might be sprinkled throughout it, you know, but it's like the end of it what happens i mean it's just it's gonna be new year's and then it'll be christmas and then that'll happen again and again and again until it doesn't happen again for me and then that's that's the whole deal personally opting out early just seems like such a solid fucking plan like what do you do you take every bit of money that you have while it's still worth something you blow all of it on just like one really big party. And then at the end, you're like, you just die. I think there was a guy who did that, a manager guy did that like five years ago. Well, he had well, he had a terminal eye cancer, so he decided to just throw a party. That's a good idea. That's a good thing to, you know, see. Oh, he probably could see it though. Well, good for him. That fucking rules. Why not? Why not? Instead of just like, oh, I guess I'll just try to make good decisions and then still fucking die. Who gives a shit? Fuck it. Like, I got I got to figure out, you know, I got I got the pre onset stomach cancer, I think. Some people call it IBS. I call it pre onset stomach cancer. Uh, and, you know, I was looking at how do you how do you figure that out? Right. How do you stop these heartburns and all of that? And they're like, don't eat too much too fast. Uh, don't eat beans, cheese, or drink beer. It's like, what's the, but what's the point? Like, you may as well kill me. Like, it, it was just a list of like shit that I liked. It was like, oh yeah, don't have cauliflower. Okay, what the fuck? What am I supposed to eat? What am I supposed to do? You could eat foods that don't cause those problems. Yeah, but I mean, what else is there? It's just like, hey, I know, I know you're miserable, but the other alternative, the the only alternative here is for you to also be miserable. And we're gonna take away all by taking away all the things that you like. Yeah, you won't have you know bloating and heartburn and farts anymore. But you know what? You know what you will have. None of the shit that you liked before. What's the point? I don't see the point. I don't know, you can always find new things to like. I barely like the things I like. I'm not gonna find new you things. Think, I you like. think life is meaning meaningful because you can eat beans? That's pretty sad, Bryden. I never said life was meaningful. Don't get ahead of yourself. <laughs> I said yeah, tolerable at best. All right. I'm just saying it's like okay, you can't eat beans and cheese anymore. What the fuck? I like beans and cheese. It's one of the few things that I like, and I barely even like that. I get tired of that, like any other person would. Like, what am I supposed to eat? What am I supposed to eat, Matt? Plain rice and salt. Oh, boy. That's cool. I'll eat plain rice and salt and drink. Can't even have club soda because it's carbonated. Tap water. And what's the point of that? Tap water is good for you. No, I drink the regular water, not the tap water, the filtered water. But, like, still. I drink a ton of water. I drink about a gallon. No, I, you can tell the difference. And I drink about a gallon of water a day. I drink a if fuck I put ton a glass of, water. of tap water in front of you and a glass of Fiji water, you would not be able to tell the difference. I absolutely would. I absolutely would. I do not buy that for a second because I can't tell the difference. 
okay, well, you're uncultured like myself. I know what I know, and that's all that I know. But I could tell you tap water versus Fiji water. Who was he? That's, that's you you what, showing me the what... size of your dick? Is that the size of your dick? I don't no. see why that's rooted in this. <laughs> no, that's what you know. Is that you've got a small dick? Yeah, I yeah, I know, man. Baby dick. Fucking boob skull. Like, I'm, I'm aware. But I'm telling you, I can tell the difference. I'm telling you right now, I can tell the difference. Especially Fiji. Or like smart water, you know, because they use a water softener on it. Like, you can't taste electrolytes or whatever, but you can taste a water softener on it. I can tell you the difference. Especially like Florida water. God, it's fucking gross here. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna have to do this test. I don't point. know how, but we will. Sure. Yeah, I just pour, you know I just send you into the other room. I pour tap water into one glass and you know Fiji water into the other one, and then have you drink it. Yeah. Okay. It's like it's like it's like in it's like in you know health class in high school where like we were told where you had to go where you had to go into the other room with the teacher. Is it like health class? Where well, we were told that Coke and Pepsi tasted exactly the same. But they didn't. They don't. No, but that's what they tried to make the claim with the taste test. Like, no one could tell the difference between these two. Uh, yeah, true. you can. Yeah. Pepsi Coke is sweeter. acidic. Yeah, Pepsi exactly. is sweet. Exactly. Yeah, no, that's fucking insane. Yeah, but you're saying you can do the same thing with water. Different ty- different brands of water, yeah, because they're filtered differently. So they have a different ty- type of taste to them. And tap water, in general... It's just not very good. I mean, I'm sure there's some places that have pretty good tap water, but Ohio wasn't one. Flor- uh, Florida's not one. You know. No, if you were like, hey, here's Dasani and, uh, you know, uh, fucking Evian, I'm not going to I'm not going to know what brand is what. But, yeah, you can tell the difference between tap water and filtered water. Like you could even you could even trip it up and be like, hey, here's. Uh, you know, here's some fucking, uh, you know, Fiji or whatever. And then here's like one we poured from a Brita filter. Probably couldn't tell the difference between that. But there is a difference between tap water and filtered water. You can fucking tell. Try it yourself. Of course, I think the Mexico water is just poop. Like I would not drink tap water down here. Well, there you go. There you go, Mr. Fucking High and Mighty. All right. Oh, you can't tell the difference at all. Can't tell the difference at all, man. And then you refuse to exactly. All right, <laughs> Bubba, fucking figure it out. <laughs> I don't know why you choose these battles. I don't know why you do this. Like, <laughs> just doesn't make any sense. <laughs> you speak on things that you actually fucking know about. Like, god damn. Ah, uh, Brian, the expert on tap water. Yeah, all he knows. I drink a fucking yeah. I, I get it. Your penis. I get it. I, I, I see your. <laughs> I don't know why you're so hell bent on this today, but <laughs> there is a difference. There are some things that that I know, and that's one of those things. Sorry, it wasn't written in some gay book somewhere. I'll bet it probably is too. There's been studies on it or whatever. There's that pen and teller bullshit thing, but that was also retarded. Pen and teller sucks. Yeah, now. They were cool libertarians back in the day. I don't know. It comes down to filtration and then the, the water softeners. Like, that's what makes smart water so good and smooth. So fucking water. You just run any water through a water softener. You're fine. Water softener? I don't know what that is. Yeah, it's like a filter thing. Because it's like, like soft and I- hard water. I've heard that for you. I, I still don't understand what what, how, what sense does that, that makes. Because water so, is a liquid. No, 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 no. So, like, uh, uh, to the best of my knowledge, I think the way that it is uh, is, like, the amount of, like, mineral that's in it. So, like, if you have really hard water, it can uh, – your drains are quicker to get clogged up and shit like that. There's, there's like, minerals in water and shit, man. What, what do you think that it is? It's 100% just – Totally pure water. That's not. That's not the thing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. Like, because think about it. Like, there's signs, or by like sprinklers and stuff, in like public parks, and they're like, "Do not drink this water. This is irrigation water." Because they haven't well, filtered the shit out of it. Well, they could also just be saying that to dissuade the bums. K 
Okay, but they're not. It'll, you'll get really sick if you drink that. You will. You'll get fucking sick. There's different shit in water. There's a difference in the taste because of the different shit that there is in water. I don't know why this is so baffling to you. I don't know why you think that I'm making this up. I make up a ton of stuff and try to trick you with it. This is not one of those things. I'm right. The best part is that you actually thought I was you thought I was thought you were making this up. Oh yeah, yeah. Now the old switcheroo of like, yeah, you know, I'm a, I'm not actually retarded. I was just I was just doing a bit, you know. I was literally just, bit. I was literally just sitting there listening to you intently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing a cool guy bit, Matt. Cool guy, Matt. Here's cool guy, Matt. Just doing bits all the time. He's like, yeah, actually, 4D chess. That's me. Let me, Matthew Forney. You might have heard of me for being a genius. Oh, God damn. I don't know. How have we done this show for two fucking years and we only have 79 episodes? Large breaks? I know, but like, I feel like we don't take enough breaks. <laughs> I mean, I feel like we just don't take enough breaks. Was there like a three or four month period that we didn't do the show? There was like a two month period, and then there was like another two month period. I don't know. It just seems I I don't know. It just seems like it seems like there should be more than seventy nine episodes in a two year span. Maybe. Two years. Good God. We were different people when we boarded this ship, Matt. Just just two wide-eyed guys thinking, you know, the world's bad, but sure can't wait for Donald Trump to be the president again. He'll really, really get some stuff done in his second term. <laughs> uh, we're really turning it around gonna be gonna be smooth sailing you know once this podcast really takes off that's that's what we thought and we thought oh man there's a new dawn on the horizon everything's coming up terror house and then now i'm drinking bud lights in terror house is doing well yeah but the world's not. I don't know. Bud Light's not so bad. I kind of like it. Always brewed using the choicest hops, best barley, malt, and rice. The rice thing always throws me off. Nobody else brags about how much rice they put in their beer. I would think Japanese beer manufacturers do because that shit they drink is rice beer. Yeah. It's just, you know, any American stuff. They're never like, we've got really good rice in this. I never said, not once have I seen it. Besides Budweiser and Bud Light. They're like, we got some rice. It's pretty good. We got some really good rice in, in our beer. Oh, I wish. <laughs> they, they, they'd, they'd mark it as a COVID death. How long until they're going to go, oopsie daisies about those PCRs. Um, turns out we didn't have that many cases. I mean, never, right? They're never going to admit that. Well, I mean, it would make my life easier if they did. Because it would mean I could go places without having to have a Q-tip shoved up my nose. Still never done it. Still yeah, that's because it. you don't leave the house. That's not true. I leave the house all the time. I was arg I was out there fighting with people with the Publix all the time. <laughs> all right. Brian will soon... Brian, he's number one on World Star Hip Hop. Kind of surprised that that never happened, to be honest. I was was like, oh, Jesus. One eventually, of these I'm gonna see this, I'm, eventually, eventually we're, we're all going to see, I'm going to just be honest, scrolling on Twitter, I'm going to see this like this really red, fat, five foot two guy uh, just waving his arms at a Kroger frantically, and it'll be all over Twitter, and I'll be like, I'm so proud of you, Brad. Yeah. Well, kind of thought that would happen. 
kind of thought it would. I was like, oh, Jesus, if I keep fighting with all these people, eventually it's going to be like, and, you know, I mean, at that point, what do you do but own it? And you're like, yeah, fuck those people. I'm doubling down. What are you even you fighting mean? about? They wanted me to wear a mask. Oh. And I was like, no, you go straight to hell. And then, you know, they'd yell and I would yell and then I would be asked to leave and, you know, fuck you, communist, and all of that. Just, you know, normal grocery shopping stuff. Have you actually been kicked out or? Yeah. Got kicked out of the Hard Rock Cafe. Um, well, yeah, I know got, that one. Like, uh, kicked out of anywhere, anywhere in your local area. Yeah, they still let me buy it, but I got kicked out of uh, this giant liquor store, the Total Wine. Um, yeah. So, fun. Fun stuff. They were like, just get your thing and leave. And it's like, all right, good. Why did you have to make my life worse? That's what I came to do. It wasn't like I was going to come here and buy the beer and be like, looks like a good time to hang out at the liquor store and drink. Fucking just dorks. I gotta piss again. Good lord. Tell him more about books or something. Brian's old lady bladder. Um, but yeah, just a reminder. Go, let me pull this up on screen actually, so so we can we can all we can all see this. Um dun, 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 dun. Let me open that up. Da, 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 da. Where is it? Brave tap. Da, 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 da. Shazam. There you go. Terror House. Um, all Terror House books are on sale for the paperbacks and audio back books are 25% off. Merch is 20% off. Ebooks are 99 cents. At terrorhousepress.com, the sale ends on Sunday. So buy now. It's our Christmas sale. Stuff is just flying off the shelves. So buy buy all that stuff. Um, hey, Brian. What are you doing? You talking about the sale? Yeah. Oh, right on. Yeah, go buy some books, nerds. Yeah, go buy some books. So Brian can afford surgery for his bladder. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's Bud Light, dude. It just runs through you. No, you just got an old lady bladder. Maybe I might. I mean, it is kind of like the the size of like a, a fucking pea, man. Like, have you ever considered not breaking the seal? That makes it easier. Yeah, yeah. That that doesn't. That only kind of works. Like it only kind of works. But the thing is, like, I spend the whole day. I drink, I'm about a gallon of water a day, which you're supposed to do, right? Why do you keep saying that? No, it's. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's. I'm pretty sure that's too much. No, no, you're supposed to look it up. Hold on. Um, well, like it's more like it's more like uh, two liters, how much or water? Like a liter no. and a half, or something. That's not that much water. Uh, how much water should a person drink a day? Uh, let's see, three point seven liters of fluids a day for men, and eleven point five uh, uh, cups, so two point seven for women. So three point seven liters is how much? Uh, how many? It's almost a gallon. So 3.7 liters is 0 0.977437 gallons. So you should drink about a gallon of water a day. Okay. It's a lot of, I mean, it's, you know, it's a lot of water. Well, just, but, just learn, learn, learn not to break the seal. Because if you, if you sit on it and not go to the bathroom for the longest time, it actually you just start forgetting about it. Yeah, I think that that's how end up, people end up peeing themselves in, in bed. But you know, well, no. obviously not in bed. Like, obviously you go at some point, but like if you've got like something important to do or you're going to be in a situation where you can't really hop up and go to the bathroom constantly. Oh, I'm never, like, I'm never in that situation. Why? You've never been on a plane. They have bathrooms on the plane. They're disgusting. Well, I'm, I'm not going to let that stop me. Nature calls, Matt. You can get, it's bad for you to hold it in, dude. No, no, I hold hold it in whenever I can. Well, maybe you held it in too much, and that's why your head's so fucking big. <laughs> I'm telling you, you're supposed to let him fly, man. It's the way it is. No, I, I hold it in if the bathroom's gross. 
I get, you know, you, you're not taking a two. You don't have to deuce it in there. I mean, you're not, you, you're just, you're standing there. Yeah, but then you have to touch the surfaces and stuff. Ah, look at you. No. No, I mean, what? nobody's asking you to lick it. You're not like, oh, yeah, touch all the surfaces and then go eat hot wings. That's not and what they're asking. No, and then there's no soap. That's a, That can be an issue. Yeah, that can be an issue. But I'm telling you, don't hold it in your peas. You're going to end up with, like, fucking bladder problems, man. You're got, you can get, like, a bladder cancer or something. Kidney stone or some shit. I don't know how it works. I'm not a fucking that, doctor. That's not how kidney stones work. It might be, though. You don't know. No, kidney, kidney stones come from an excess of, like, uh, urea and, like, uh, build up in your blood. Well, see, there you go. you holding in all that pee. It doesn't come from holding it in. It comes from, like, constant dehydration as well as uh, something else. Could be. Yeah, holding there's something else that's holding in your pee. That is not... That might... Yeah, you don't know enough about it to know that that's not true. <laughs> So, it might be that it's probably not good. here is it or is it okay to hold your peas let me look it up welcome to the i google shit podcast is it oops, okay to hold your pee uh it says no that's gross it gets all over your hands but up okay no uh if your urinary system is healthy holding your uh, pee isn't generally dangerous if you're an adult and your bladder is holding more than two cups of urine, you may start to feel uncomfortable. If you have an overactive bladder, holding your pee can be an important part of bladder training. So, I mean, maybe you're supposed to, like, lift weights with your bladder or something? <laughs> lift weights with your dick. How am I supposed to know how big my bladder is or how much pee is in there? I think you can feel it. I can't. I can't weigh that out. That's like trying to measure gas as it goes into a bucket. Like, I'm not going to know. Uh, I remember. I remember years ago when Glenn Beck, like you know, went in for surgery and like they put him on so much uh, like morphine that he nearly died, and like he claimed that his bladder was like like a like a liter sized when uh, they finally catheter put a catheter in. That sounds fucking awful. Yeah, doesn't doesn't sound fun. No, good God! I mean, you're just like you got a like a tall boy of Pepsi in your in your. Yeah, that'd be awful. I'm saying you're not supposed to hold in your peas. I don't think you're supposed to hold them in. And then he recorded a video from uh, from his hospital bed. And he was unshaven, asking someone to kill him. Oh, yeah, that sounds like him. I haven't seen that, but yeah, that sounds exactly like Glenn Beck. Yeah, yeah, this was eight. This was like like back in 2007 or something. I like how he constantly pivots and reinvents himself as just a different type of crazy person. <laughs> That's what I like about Glenn Beck. He's just this has nut he, has Mormon. He, has he has he given up the Colonel Sanders bit yet? No, no. He looks like a fatter, gayer version of Colonel Sanders now because he wears like a uh a sh what's a the scarf like like Freddie from Scooby Doo half the time. It's really weird. It's really weird. I like Glenn Beck because now that Rush is dead, there's no good commentary on radio. So you might as well go with a guy that's fucking nuts. And Stu, his co-host. Is actually pretty funny, and uh, I like Stu. But yeah, Glenn Beck's a fucking nut. The guy's a nut. I believe the world is ending too, but not in the same way that he does. Jesus, he's fat. Yeah, dude, he's he's a big guy. He's old too. He's real old. I think he stopped crying. Yeah, for now. Yeah, he used to do that a lot in public. Yeah, that's where I learned it. I've never seen you cry. Oh, dude, all the time, dude. I get a fucking, like, real drunk off whiskey and, like, something hits me. I just let them fly. I've never seen it. Oh, dude, I've streamed it, like, a thousand times. Oh, God. When I played The Walking Dead, I started crying because, of, you know, Clementine and, like, some of the some of the characters that died and shit. I was really smashed off whiskey. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, I just let them go. Like, what, what, do, you, what do you have to gain? I'm starting, to notice, a I'm, I'm, starting, I'm starting to notice a pattern here. Well, that I'm an alcoholic? Yeah. No, you don't hold pee in, you don't hold tears in. You've I got hold no, nothing in. You've got no stoicism, Brian. You got stoicism, sto sto stoicism, stoicism is a fucking bitch-made bullshit, and it's a goddamn ideology of the conquered. All right, fuck that. I experience life in all of its fucking horribleness. I don't hold in my pees, my farts, my tears, my burps, my words, except for the N-word. Fuck you, YouTube. 
If it wasn't for the, if it wasn't for that, all I do is say the N word. I want to call you one right now. My whole political ideology is I should be able to say it. And if they came up with a worse word, I'd be like, okay, fuck that. I don't need to say that one. I need to say the other one. It's a thing. No reason to hold back, Matt. You just got to let it fly. Like just... if there was, if there was a, a, a like a, a sculpture of me, it would just be like I'd be you held mean, up by my own mean. excrement, and then a thought bubble that's like me killing myself, and then just the N word. It'd be a cool modern art piece. Yeah, I was going to say that it would be you pooping and pissing yourself. Yeah, and saying the N word. That's yeah. who I am as a person. You know, and there's no shame in it. I don't care. It's fine. I'd, I'd be vomiting the N word. That would rule. They should build statues of me. And then they just just paint it in like the most garish colors. What is what does garish mean? Like outlandish, ridiculous, bright. Oh yeah, yeah, that would rule. Like it was like from a uh, uh, Slap paint, City or something. Just, just paint you with like a bright red face and purple vomit and like pink yeah. shit. Yeah, like I'm a fucking running and green piss because this was uh, this the statue captured you after St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, see that would rule. I'm totally on board with this. I don't know. I don't know why that's. Look, at, uh, hold on. I'm going to read something from the chat. Stoicism is not being a spaz. Like austerity is not being retarded with money. Oh, she got you. That's a girl. Yeah, it's alien. Opinion it's disregarded. You fucking cunt. Sorry, I don't listen to people that have less penises than me. You don't have a penis, so that means you listen to everyone. Oh, I got a penis, and I can get his band right now. This would be a good way to end the fucking show. You're like, and at the end of Terror House, Brighton just whipped his dick out. <laughs> Sorry, um, I don't. Th I, I don't think your half incher is worth losing the show. Oh no, it is. It it is. The no, monster, no, no, no. more like the thumb. The thumb? Who said yeah. monster? I have never once been like, hey, you know what? My dick's fucking huge. <laughs> I have big. a I have a normal penis. Well, you're There's way, nothing to brag. Well, it is yeah, it's a handsome you're penis. way too fat to pull that off. It's a handsome penis. It is <laughs> handsome. Like it dresses up for work and shit. It's a handsome, it's a handsome penis. But no, like stoicism is just this like actually i don't even care the only thing i like that uh uh who is the fucking stoic uh dude um why can't i remember his name right now because all those names sound the same yeah but like his whole thing was like uh that not his whole thing but the thing that i liked that he said he was like yeah like it makes sense to kill yourself when you're done doing shit you're like ah yeah i'm kind of done i'll just kill myself that part i liked but like this whole like the world doesn't affect me, man. It's like, OK, go to Hot Topic, you fucking nerd. You know, it's just fucking stupid. I hate that whole thing. Oh, yeah. It's like uh, the world around me doesn't matter at all. It's just it's just me being me, man. It's like, all right, listen, you seem like you don't have any friends that started calling yourself Sigma recently. So have fun with that. But uh, no, it's getting You're not into the Sigma grind set. Oh god damn, dude! I like I don't know how many times the word like the internet can reinvent the word "ugly virgin," but they really keep trying. Like all like, all a sigma is is an incel with a job. All right, you fucking just Jesus fuck you, idiot calculator dick nerds. It's not that hard. Just go talk to women. You'll find that they're not that intimidating. They're mostly just fucking stupid, and you'll be good. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. You know, nobody's asking you to make any real emotional connection with them. You're 20. <sighs> Jesus fucking Christ. I don't know. I just, I, I hate the internet, man. I hate like this dumb bullshit, right wing, osphere crap culture. If you can even call it that, I guess it technically is culture. That is the fucking, this part of Twitter fucking dorks. Jesus fucking Christ. I don't, who is Jack Murphy? I don't, you know, Fuck. Given, I, given that he created that, had a big part in creating that, you should be happy to see his downfall then. In, in creating what? How is the he Sigma a grind set? Oh, did he? All right. Well, I thought Sigmas didn't have girlfriends or gay porn careers. I, I don't know. 
You know, I just I'm not. See, he's a sigma because he doesn't care that he that know that he's a homosexual. He's well, he beyond can... labels. Well, he can be gay. I don't give a fuck. I don't know who this guy is. <laughs> I don't. You know, like it just the I don't know. I don't know. The whole thing is just fucking troublesome. Like, like I kept telling Guan, I'm like, these people are so fucking weird. All of these people are weird. Somebody's like, did you hear so-and-so's hot take on the thing? I've never watched a video by the quartering. Never I, watched a video I, I, by I, I never heard of him either before this. Well, no, I had heard of him. I knew he was a YouTube guy. Never watched one of his videos. You know why? Because I don't, don't give care. a shit. I don't care either. Why would you? He's a YouTube guy. You know who's good on YouTube? Donkey, Muda. Uh, and us. Well, we're not, but Academy <laughs> of Ideas is great. I love Academy of Ideas. I mean, what else is there? Oh, yeah, Alex Melton is great on YouTube. Um, I am subscribed to like 50,000 goddamn YouTube channels, none of which are good or I ever watch. I just watch the YouTube. Like, I watch YouTube all the time. I'm a streams and all that. And it's usually just like, oh, let's see what Vice is up to today. And they're like... Indian transvestites in a war in Syria. And I'm like, well, yeah, definitely. I'm going to watch that shit. And I, yeah, I just don't get it. Speaking of advice, I'm not sure if I ever gave this to you for a stream. Maybe, maybe you did like a year ago. I don't remember. Uh, Vice had a show called people who just have sex. That is the perfect thing for you to stream. I don't remember that. So that would mean that more than likely the 10 people that watch me stream or who are a bunch of alcoholics as well. Probably don't remember it either. Um, so yeah, send me that link. That's my idea. It's uh it's uh it's, it's a good, it's, I'm not going to spoil it for you. It's a, it's a good one. I, I will say I this, the there's idea. A, there's, of it. there's a, there's a great diversity of couples on the show. There's a couple of gay couples. There's interracial couples. There's fat fetishists. Are there any normal people? <laughs> do you think a normal person would agree to have you know have someone stand outside a door while they have sex and then give a play-by-play after they're done yeah how much are they paying i don't think they're paying anything well i don't know again i didn't get paid anything i they, uh, he still doesn't cash after me <laughs> yeah i don't know i don't know it's uh, you know what else is another good one is uh, the cut. What's that? It's a uh, oh, it's an awful YouTube channel where they're like, uh, uh, they'll do stuff like the one I watched last night was like, um, call your ex and ask them questions about why you broke up or whatever, and it's just these twenty something motherfuckers, which I don't know why twenty year olds are so fucking ugly now. Like they they dress the chemicals like, in the water. It's got to be something, dude. Like, I'm no spring chicken. I get it. I don't look great. I, you know, I'm fucking 34, bro. I'm, ugh. I'm not supposed to be hot. I'm supposed to be settling in. All right? Settling in for the long haul, which is getting fatter, older, and uglier, and all of that. Right? That's fine. I'm okay with it. But these guys are like 20. These girls are fucking 20. It's, they thems are like 20. And they're all just ugly and they dress like shit. I don't get it. I don't get the whole thing. Would it, would it, would it hurt you to put on some fucking makeup? Not you, every guy in the video wearing makeup. The women, put on some makeup. Do your hair. God damn. It's just fucking awful. But yeah, they're pretty good. There used to be um, Jubilee, uh, which has now changed its name to something else. Oh no, it's Jubilee now. It used to be Barcroft. Ooh, excuse me. It used to be Barcroft, and they would do stuff like, uh, I might be retarded and gay, but I'm still human. Like, just shit like that. <laughs> but now they're, it's like all. I can see why. I can see why you would uh, be, find that appealing. Yeah, it's fucking hilarious, dude. It's a fucking freak show. It's great. But now they changed it to like inspiring shit where they're like, I play soccer, but don't have any legs or something. And you can't really make fun of those people too much because they're like, you know, you can't buy you, the, the uh, rule was, Yeah, because like the rule that I made was you can make fun of emotional retards, you can make fun of uh mental retards, but you can't make fun of body retards. Cause they're like, you know, it's like you can't really it's not cool to make fun of body retards, man. You just can't do it. It's it just you're it there's a personal uh, line. You jerk, right, 
yeah it's there's just a line i think and like you just kind of look like a complete asshole if you're, they're like hey i have glass bone syndrome and you're like what a faggot like you can't you know like it's not good try tap dancing right yeah it's like oh i'm in a wheelchair and i'm disabled from the neck down i'm like what's up lazy legs like it's not a good I don't, I, I just don't do those ones now. They're like, oh, I burned at 98% of my body. You can't, there's not, it's just, you leave those alone. You don't do that. And that's all uh, Barcroft is now that their Jubilee is just that shit. Um, they used to have weird, weird stuff. Uh, but, you know, there's still good ones out there. There's still plenty of shit to make fun of. And the cut is one of them. I don't know. What are you? What are you staring off? Are you on fucking ketamine? <laughs> like several times, I've just caught you. Just what is happening? <laughs> Jesus, man. Ketamine is pretty awesome, dude. Yeah. All right. And are you on ketamine? <laughs> <laughs> I can neither confirm nor deny that. I mean, <laughs> I don't know, buddy. I'm not sure if you're all right. Good grief. I woke up at four today and um... in the afternoon or morning? Afternoon. Oh, shit. Good God. Well, yeah, I was working. I, I've been working a lot lately due to, you know, a new book and shit. And I had the day off today. And uh, first thing I did was I ordered uh, P.F. Chang's off of uh, Uber Eats. Um, okay. Only they, to be told they couldn't deliver that. So I ended up ordering from the Middle Eastern place instead. And uh, right before the show started, I nearly choked on uh, one of those little shawarma things. Wait, how did that go down? I don't <laughs> know. I just, I just, Why did you hey, start the show with this? What happened? <sighs> Because I managed to clear my throat before I we I got on. Did you you like choke it down like a duck? Like, no, I managed to I managed to Heimlich myself. Heimlich it out. Oh, did you seriously have to do that? I just yeah, I just <clears throat> it worked. God damn, I feel bad about like because you were kind of late getting the lake. I'm like, oh, did you fall in the toilet? No, you just almost never showed up again. <laughs> It wouldn't. It, it, it really would have been the last show if I had shown up like that, dude. You realize that you can never choke to death on food, right? Are you sure? No, 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 no. I mean, you personally. If you're gonna die, that's not the way that you need to go. Oh, okay, because okay. it's gonna be impossible. I, I will feel bad. I'll be like, my friend is dead. That being said, come on. I mean, come on. It's like if you died getting hair implants. Like, I mean, they're, 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 I, I, I won't be able to, through tears, stop making jokes. And I will forget what are the tears of sadness and what are the tears of holy fucking shit. This is hilarious. Like, what would be the funniest way for me to die? Uh, joking on a cock. Yeah. That'd be a good one. But let's try to actually be funny instead of just reusing my material. I would say if I was hit by a drunk driver while I was driving sober, that would be pretty hilarious. <laughs> or murdered by a guy. Nah, cirrhosis of the liver, that'd be pretty funny too. Yeah, but that's predictable. Everybody knows that. Okay, the sudden, sudden cerebral hemorrhage in your sleep related to alcoholism. Yeah, but that's also still just predictable. Matt, I don't think that you understand the assignment here. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that you get it. That's fine. That's fine. If I died on stilts, that would be really funny. Because I'm short. <laughs> God damn it, Matt. Could have been a good bit. If you had any if talent. If you die from getting punched in the stomach, that would be funny. That would be pretty. That, see, we're getting closer to it being fun. That would be pretty funny. Particularly over your liver. Liver. That would be really hilarious. Yeah. 
See, we're getting there. It's a good bit, Matt. I'm really glad that we're good at radio after two fucking years. This is fantastic. This is so cool. This is great. great. Yeah, it's awesome. so good. So fucking good. How's everybody doing out there in chat land? Are you okay? God damn it. I don't know. This T Ted Boba guy goes, I like the funny guy. He's very funny. Ban him. I don't know if it's sarcastic or sincere. Fucking ban him. Fuck that guy. It's Ted Bama. It's a Bama? Yeah, I don't give a shit. Fuck that. Ted as in T H A. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with it. I don't care. I've decided that it is what I want it to be, and it's Barack Obama. Good job. What are you doing for New Year's there, Matthew? I have to work. Mm. Well, that's that stinks. I mean, double pay, so I don't care. Ah, yeah, that does it. That's kind of. Uh oh. No, I'm good. So what are they going to do about this fucking, uh, you got the whole, like the, the whole narrative with the Omicron is, uh, yeah, it's not that bad. And I saw him try to go, oh yeah, actually it was like Delta, but it's not what we said about Delta before, but like, it's like in your opinion, which it's, it's, it's probably way different than mine. Um, where do you think that they go with it? Where do you think that they go with it? I have no idea. It could be sincere. It could be another fake out. I'm not. We'll see what happens in the next couple of weeks. I will say this. If other countries start moving in the same direction, then I'll be more confident that you're right. Because I, all this shit started in every country basically at once. What, well, it started with Italy. And that was because the Chinese were. And this is like New York Times wrote this. And this is something that we've said on the show a fucking thousand times. Uh, the New York Times, I think it was a wrote about this, about how there were bots pushing out, praising the Wuhan style lockdown into Italy. And they were the first ones to do that shit. Um, I still think it was like the whole plan that China lost the trade war with Trump. So they were like, uh, I don't know, explode the world, which is a very Chinese thing to, uh, to fucking do. But I don't know if like Australia is ever coming back from this shit. I, Italy, I know, is like doing it like I think the Vax mandates are probably just something they're going to do in europe because europe's a fucking hole and they're able to do that shit you know they don't have the population that we do uh which are like a bunch of fucking fat lunatics they don't have the constitution that we do um i think america is gonna be one of the more likely people to just go we're not we're, we're done with this shit we're done with this shit uh doesn't mean we won't havoc won't be wreaked upon us when you know everything fucking economically goes to complete fucking shit but i just don't see them being able to do this much to americans um but i could see you know italy is fucked they're gonna just do that to italy i like what do they have like even that french guy now that everybody likes who's like railing against uh uh all of the immigration like is he anti fucking mandates and shit probably yeah, he's, not. A, he's against he's against mandates yeah he said oh, good. Yeah, COVID, he said COVID's something we have to live with so like you know n none of this mandate none of this none of this uh lockdown shit yeah, well, that's good. Okay. Well, how do you say his name? Uh, Jamor, I'm guessing. Jamor? Okay. It's a weird name because he's like ethnically like an Algerian Jew or something. Huh. Well, that's something to think about, I guess, France. But, uh, you know, he seems fine. Well, I guess they, they, they already right. elected a Hungarian as president, so like they're used to this kind of shit. Well, I mean, he seems to be saying all the right things. I like, I've seen some translations of his speeches, and he seems rather agreeable. I don't give a fuck about France. But I'm happy for them if they can take their fucking country back from what it has been. You know, Macron is a fucking piece of shit, dude. That guy stinks. That guy's hilarious. Like, he's pretty know. funny, but he's married to a tranny. Oh, we can't say that. We can get sued. Nah. <laughs> I, was gonna, I, I keep thinking of the, the, the pictures he posed with those rappers where he like looks like. Oh, God. Yeah. It literally looks like poor little white boy, like the what? gay porn video. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty bad. Wait, was that Macron or was that Trudeau? No, that was, that was Macron. Macron. Yeah. God damn. No, I, don't I, mean, think there, I don't think there are any black people in Canada. For him to oh, they with. got black people in Canada? No, their idea of a black person is Drake, well, who is yeah. Jewish. Well, ain't black. Drake rules. Drake's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, they got they got they got the black guy Drake. They got him there. I'm sure that they've got a few others stealing and stuff. 
you know, they, they had a whole BLM thing, uh, which was mostly white people saying it, but their whole thing is like the natives or whatever that like 5,000 years ago or whatever. They yeah. The, built the, the, the first, the first nations. Yeah. God damn, what a fucking mess of a country. And all they do is they're like, uh, oh, yeah, we're so fucking better than America, bud. We're so much better than America, bud, because we've got all of this free health care up here. You just suck the shit right out of my ass, can I? What a dumb fucking country. Name one country that's, like, worse than Canada. New Zealand. It, yeah, New Zealand is pretty bad. They're not really a country. They're more like a film set, though. <laughs> like, they just you just go film movies there. I don't get it. I don't get it. Like, I have to give Mexico some respect. I still don't want their people here. But, and they need to do, well, they need to do better about the whole fucking sending people back before they come up here. But, uh, I like that they don't do the mandates and the fucking all of that. I think it's probably because they have no ability to do it. I mean, they're Chicago, the country, you know, except. Well, like, all these countries that would theoretically have less ability to do it are doing it, so. It's a matter of leadership. Like Colombia is trying to do it. Brazil's trying to do it. Uh, Chile is probably going to do. Chile already has a pretty complicated process for even getting into the country. Like, like as of right now in Chile, if you want to go more than two hundred kilometers from where you are, you need a pass from the government. Yeah, that sounds. Which is kind of a big deal, given if you see how the shape of the country. It's just one long fucking strand. So, like two hundred kilometers, that's like going to the fucking supermarket for them. How uh, what's how, how long is that in you know America speak? Let me check. How many miles? That's that's, that's that? pretty. It's pretty absurd. Let's see, two hundred kilometers is about. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Was it like nine or something like that? One hundred twenty miles. Oh, wait. Well, that's yeah. not a lot. That's not a lot. That's like I mean, how big is that's like the dis- That's like the distance between Tampa and Orlando. Yeah. yeah. Like. Imagine having to get permission from the government, Brian, if you every time you had to drive to Tampa. Yeah, that sounds awful. Yeah, that sounds that's that's awful. that's Chile, and these are yeah. all countries that are less developed than Mexico. So it's like not a matter of development; it's a matter of like political will. There is a one city in Mexico that did try to do the vax mandate, lasted about a week. Before they were before they were threatened by people with more power than them that just happened to run drugs and avocados into the U.S. And also because they realized they had no ability to enforce it because uh, they didn't have an app or anything. Yeah. You probably just you could probably just scrawl some random numbers on a piece of paper, like yeah, here's my vaccine passport. <laughs> you could just hand them a dollar American and go vaccine passport, like. This is why this is why like I don't understand what Beetlejuice is doing over there in fucking Chicago where she's like, yeah, we're going to, uh, we're you know, ma- vaccine mandate for every fucking thing. You can't even stop people from shooting each other in broad daylight over there. How are you going to enforce these, that shit? These systems, I, I won't I won't I won't get specific. These systems have already been proven to be publicly proven to be difficult to beat. Like the guy who uploaded a picture of Mickey Mouse to like for his New York City vaccine passport. <laughs> And it was approved. Like, it's just, I don't know. It's hard for me to believe that it's not just a bunch of power hungry fucking people trying to milk every goddamn dime out of shit that they can. And, you know, fine. I understand that. But it's like, it just seems like you're not going to be able to do it. You're just not going to be able to do it. And people are just too damn fed up at this point. And yeah, yeah. The, the generally speaking, you're going to get a whole bunch of bozos. You're going to go along with it. And they're little shock troops that, you know, uh, are all for it and everything, but you, you can't really do anything else outside of that. Like, you're just not going to get. I Like, what is New York going to do if everybody leaves? Obviously, not everybody, everybody I leave, think, but... already has left aside from the criminals. Right. I mean, it's just I don't know. And not to say that those people won't come to other places and fucking ruin those places, too. What was that? There was this uh, Twitter thread you probably saw about this guy who was like, I'm moving from San Francisco to Miami. And it's like, and I'm a lefty thing. And everybody's <laughs> like, OK, then don't come to well, Miami's already pretty liberal. In a, but. Well, in a in a just world, like the Floridians would greet him at the border with shotguns or at least not let him vote. You know, you can't vote for fucking like what it uh, uh, Franklin was. It was Franklin or Jefferson that was concerned about the Germans. Uh, I was like, I'm not sure we should let them vote for 10 years. 
you know, you got to acclimate yourself to your new state. I think you ought to not be able to vote in any state elections for like two to four years. That seems That's fair. It, does that not seem fair? Yeah. Like you got to acclimate to the <clears throat> fucking new place. Cause like you can't just move in here and go, well, this you got it two to four years. You got to learn to, and you got to know that you're going to stick around because fuck you. If you come over here and then vote and then leave, well, you're an asshole, right? And people do that. So I think, I don't know. I wonder if that's a thing that would be fucking legal. There's got to be, I, I don't know the constitution of Florida. That would be an interesting thing. I'm going to, I'm going to call Ron DeSantis and be like, hi, Ronnie boy. Long time. No talk. I know your wife's dying of breast cancer at the moment. It'll be a shame to see those girls go when she got to get them cut off. But I had an idea. It's me guy from with a transatlantic accent from the 1920s. What if we didn't let him vote for two to four years? <laughs> like, sir, this is just his office. We're like, listen here, you broad. Why don't you put old Roddy boy on the line? I got an idea for him. It's the bee's knees. Don't you see? That would rule. I should just do that. To start incessantly calling Ron DeSantis's office. Nothing bad can happen from that, I'm sure. I'm sure it's already happening. People calling him and doing weird voices and calling him yeah. Ronnie Boy. People being in, I'm I'm sure all these politicians get like harassed constantly. Probably. That's why they got a secretary. Yeah, you put me you put me through to Elizabeth Warren right now. <laughs> I got a bone to pick about her comments on taxes. <laughs> you Chicago gangster, that rules. That's good. I like that. Uh, you never do them. Miss Warren, I object to the idea that I have to list all the bribes I've paid on my IRS forms. You've almost got a, uh, got a Nixon going on there. If you changed <laughs> it up a little, you could do a Nixon. I'm telling you, I am not a crook. That's a Nixon! Oh, wow, that's a good Nixon. That's a good Nixon. <laughs> that rules. Brian Proctor is the faggiest goddamn person I've ever met. <laughs> oh, that's good. I didn't know you had a Nixon. That's great. Oh, fuck. That's funny, man. <laughs> What a nightmare of a year. Was 2020 better or worse than 2021? 2021 is better. Why do you know why? It's... Because I made money. Right. That's good. Um, I didn't have to... I, got, I managed to minimize all this mask and other shit in my life. That was good. I think 2020 was better for me. That's a well, surprise. I, well, no, because DLive was like popping at the time. I was paying my rent every month with D Live money. Yeah, but you weren't allowed to leave the house. No, I could leave the house. It was fine. Well, you said there was nothing to do. Yeah, there was there was nothing to do. Nah, they didn't close all the stuff down like they did everywhere else in Ohio. Wasn't that bad? It was not good, but it wasn't that bad. Like they closed a lot of stuff, but they ended up like opening it back up and shit. <sighs> I don't know. It wasn't that bad. I think 2021 was worse for me than 2020. Just and I'll bet 2022 is going to be fucking just obnoxious. Like, it's just going to be a terrible thing where it's just like, ah, oops. Everybody, like, all these people are going to be like, oops, sorry, we voted for that guy. And I'm going to be like, oh, you've killed us now. You realize that, right? And they're like, yeah, but Trump was still bad. Like, all right, listen, we got to, we, we need a tropo, we need a chopo trap camp. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not hopeful, Matt. You're never hopeful. Yeah, but I mean, especially not hopeful. I think they're doing aliens before 2024. I think they're doing them. That's going to be bad. Dude, it's going to be rough. That's it's going to be rough. That's not going to be good at all. Oh, the aliens want us to form a one-world government. Is that really going to be the pitch? Or, oh, no, wait. We had to form a one-world government to fight the aliens. 
Yeah, I'm thinking it's more that, but it's also, it's not even going to be cool shit. It's not going to be, like, cool fake alien shit. Like, they're not even going to bother. Like, nobody's actually going to see a fucking alien. It'll be like, yeah, well, actually, the aliens are invisible, and they'll just make you really sick. And, like, well, just No, I was like, I think it'll just set off a, dir- a dirty bomb in the middle of Manhattan. Yeah, I mean, it'll be some dumb bullshit. Maybe that's why they put on all the vax shit. They want to get everyone to leave so they can just blow up a bunch of empty buildings. That might happen. I mean, I don't know. I'm just wondering when they're going to do the alien stuff. They got to do it. They've been teasing it for a while. All right. This has been a big lead up throughout the last few seasons. And uh, I think that the finale is going to be aliens. They've got to do it. But they're not going to do it in a good way because the production house, which is reality, stinks. They're going to tell you the aliens are invisible and they just make you sick. The simulation is running out of RAM. If I can, yeah, that's as good of an excuse as anything. I think that it, like the re, in, in actual reality, all metaphors and jokes and everything aside, I think that people are just too fucking stupid to live. And we're, we've run out of time. We've run out of fucking reasonable time for us to continue living in the way that we're living. And uh, it turns out all of these people are like, have you heard some of the crazy bullshit Elon Musk says? The richest man in the world? The dumb ass shit that he says all the time. He's fucking autistic, dude. Like we we this way of life is crazy shit. Like when he called uh, Elizabeth Warren a Karen. Yeah, that was funny or whatever, I guess. But I mean, he's like, we're gonna be on Mars in five years. It's like we're not. You might be. You, you might be, but I'm not, and we aren't. There's probably demons on Mars. I don't fucking know what's there. You drill into Mars. I I played Doom. I don't trust it. Big red planet. I don't trust. Well, I mean, you've seen. Well, I mean, you've seen. You've seen the picture of Mars that had camels in the background. Well, that's not real. The Taliban beat us to Mars. That would rule. I gotta piss again, really bad. Old lady bladder. Old. I know it's fucking brutal, and that's fine. You can make fun of me when things are accurate. All right, but I am five foot six and not five foot two. (laughs) It took you forever to correct that. <laughs> go go buy go buy the terror house books on sale uh paperbacks and audiobacks 25 percent off uh ebooks are 99 cents merch is 20 percent off uh yeah the sale ends sunday go to terrorhousepress.com go check that out <laughs> gonna be great it's gonna be great um and of course full moon reaction by justin jeffrey will be out on january 7th check out the excerpts at terror house magazine <laughs> and of course uh we'll be running a print interview with justin next week so <laughs> <laughs> azalea rosen says i didn't realize ethan ralph was brian proctor in a fat suit <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. What? Uh, you know, Azalea Rose in the chat says, I didn't realize Ethan Ralph was Brian Proctor in a fat suit. Oh, I don't get it. CP a lot? I guess. I don't watch wow. the kill stream, so. Well, I don't know, dude. God damn. I mean, look, we've been through this. I'm not I'm not rehashing why you shouldn't hold your pee. Yet. All right? And just in case Sebastian is listening, ah, uh, that was a pretty good piddle what we call a callback huh who remembers that when he said that he didn't like the word piddle callbacks you know what we should have done instead of doing a show we should have just like paid somebody to clip random shit and then just do an end of the year thing that would have been good yeah that's the point that would have been that would have ruled we would have been like all we would have to do is record ourselves going you remember when that would rule. We next year we're doing that. Next year we're just doing a highlight show, and we're not showing up at all. Let's make every show a highlight show. We should just do that. That's fine. Most of these people wouldn't fucking know anyway. Like they tune in and out. Are you serious? Like I mean, they're like they're doing weird shit. 
Every single person they're putting that's dildos up their asses on Chatter Bay. I don't, I don't think that they're doing that. Maybe they are, but like I don't think that they're doing that. I think that they're more just like at work stacking books upon things. I don't know what these fucking this is. These the people that listen to this show. They came in through you, and then they stayed through me. And I don't like talking to any of them. A lot of them follow me on Twitter. They think they're a bunch of they send bad tweets. You know, they're like, "Oh, look, here's poems." It's like, "Oh, you doing you doing Twitter poems?" That's cool. You're gonna make it. You're gonna make it as a fucking author. Keep doing it. <laughs> Keep fucking way, doing it. By the way, Azalea specifies uh, she compared you to Ethan Ralph over the five foot two shit. Oh. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. No, I'm five six. All right, I'm I'm about as tall as as manlets can be. I'm okay with my height. I'm all right with it. You have to be. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? That growth spurt never came, dude. And then you know the fucked up part. The fucking like I was so blind and retarded. My mother, who is like five even, and my dad, who's five four, they were like, "Yeah, one of these summers, you're just gonna gonna have a growth spurt." And it's like, why didn't I realize that? That's I'm taller than both of them, and my brother is like six foot. But I think my mom fucked the milkman or something like that, because he's got blue eyes too. I don't know; it's a weird one. My grandfather had blue eyes and was tall though on my mom's side, so it's some weird thing. But it, it missed my shit, you know. And, but like, I don't know why they were like, "You're gonna have a growth spurt one summer." It's like you guys are short as shit. You had the growth spurt. The growth spurt got you higher than both of them. The problem yeah, is that they're five both short. Six. To five six. Well, there was a time in my life where I was like, I want to be a professional basketball player. All right. Like I was like in middle school. I'm like, yeah, basketball is cool. I'm terrible at it. And uh I'm five foot six. I was four eight at the time, I'm sure. Well, I'm taller than both of my parents. That's a victory. Yeah, I mean, hopefully it gets you get you a little, you know. My dad's like five foot six, my mom is like five foot four, and I'm five foot ten. Five ten. That's like still a manlet, but you know, no. you're yeah, nah, you're manly. Sorry, buddy. Anything yeah. under six foot, that's the rules. Now, nah, five ten is, is is tall enough that you can fudge it at six feet anywhere you need to. Five five ten is the average height of of white males, as far as I know. But then, like you know, you you can't lie like all the six foot guys do. They're like, "Yeah, I'm six foot two. No, you're no, not. I'm just six foot even. You can lie to six foot even. I don't know. I don't you have try to six lie. Feet, it's magic. I don't have to lie. I'm okay with who I am. Yeah, you can't lie because you're five foot two. I'm five foot six. <laughs> All right. If I was five foot two, that would make me even funnier. That's like Kevin Hart. You know, Kevin Hart's five four. <laughs> As Elliot Rose it says in the chat, they should have named you Cloud Bryden since they wanted you to aim for the stars but knew you wouldn't make it. Yeah, actually, my father. Well, he still claims that this is a great name. If I was a girl, he was going to name me Heaven Lee Proctor. Yeah. Remember that I grew up in West Virginia as well, so I would have been dead from a fentanyl overdose just years ago. After a, after a promising stripping career at the place called Bubba Joe's. It's, uh, he still says that's a good name. That's a trashy fucking name. I mean, Bryden is like an interesting name, you know. I'm, I'm, Heaven, Heaven, Heavenly Proctor sounds like a porn star's name. Yeah, yeah, that does a lot of anal. Uh, it's a uh, Heaven middle name Lee. Proctor. A night that, in a night in heaven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty bad, pretty bad. And he stands by it. He's like, that's a good name. Like that. That's not. That's like even by like stripper porn star standards they're like Ugh, i don't know it's pretty trashy it's not good but he stands by it i don't get it could have been worse which is strange to think about given that it's so bad already what are we doing why are we here? Just to suffer? We're here because our parents forgot the condoms. Yeah. Yeah, it's a weird thing to think about. You're like, oh, yeah, I'm here because, like, 
my dad was just raw dogging the shit out of my mom and just bust a fat load in her. It's rough. It's rough. Just think about your your young parents just going to town. Fwap, 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 fwap. And then, you know, nine months later, there you are. Just all <laughs> kinds of chubby fingered as you are today. Probably had a beard when you were born, too. <laughs> and then, you know, as a result of your parents, just. It's fine. You can take it out. What? Oh, you can you can take that out. Your dad didn't take his dick out of your mom's pussy, but you know you can take that out of your ear. You know, fat, just a rope, dude, all over her fucking face. Previous to that, and then just a, and she was like, "Oh, Matt's dad, <laughs> give it to me, Matt's dad." Oh yeah. She was into it, dude. He probably ate her pussy too, dude. He's probably like, ah, rah, 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 rah. just like all oh, your mom snaps, like, and they're like, oh, I love you, Matt's dad. I love you, Matt's mom. Just, oh, oh. That's what happened. That's what happens. You, you, I mean, just, just like, like, like a gallon of cornstarch and water, you know, just like. <laughs> like Probably fucked her tits too, man. <laughs> Your mom just like, ow, ow, ah, ah. <laughs> then you were born. So, you know, it's kind of like you were born from something horrible and then life becomes terrible. I mean, it's the truth. Because what's more horrible than thinking about your parents really just getting it down? Gorilla fuck in her face. Like, ah, 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 ah. it's not like we invented gorilla fucking. He probably ate her butt too, dude. Dad was like, <laughs> right in there, tongue in that fart box. Mm, eh, 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 eh. Then you were born. Now we do a podcast. Speaking of which, we got stream apps tips to get to. <laughs> Good. We have uh, the right honorable for five dollars. He says, "Happy New Year, guys! Happy New Year, guys! I'm in Vegas for New Year's Eve. I hate it here. I'm more miserable than Brian." Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, Vegas is probably not that great right now because of all the restrictions and stuff. But they have restrictions in Vegas. Yeah, you can still fuck prostitutes, but you got to wear a mask. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But anyway, thank you very much for that, sir. Um. Eh, that's enough for the show. It's been a couple of hours. So, Brian, right. is good. anything is anything you want to plug, Brian? Uh, no. Tomorrow I'm gonna uh, be doing my. Uh, it's gonna be awful. I'm not very good at it, but I'm gonna be doing my DJ premiere. All right. I don't. I don't know what time. Probably around like seven or eight. I'm not gonna go till midnight. But uh, yeah, I'll be over on D Live, and I'll get the camera set up. I'm gonna, you know. Do some DJing and uh, hopefully it's hopefully it goes off without too many hitches, you know. But again, I don't really know what I'm doing. I just started doing this, but it should be fun and uh, we should play a lot of cool music and shit. So go check that out, kids. Um, and as for me, my shit is at mathwing.com. Anyway, that's the end of the show. Terrorhousemag.com, terrorhousepress.com. Christmas sale through Sunday. Buy all of our books on sale and our merch on sale as well. TerrorHouseRadio.com for all past episodes of the show. Social media links in the description. Full Moon Reaction by Justin Jeffrey is coming January 7th. Um, oh, dude, your mom probably said made that same noise. She was like, oh, oh man, it's dead. Terror House Radio is presented by Katya Degg. And intro music is by Zero Pulse. Illegitimate on cover random. You okay? I think you might have COVID. I'm Matt Forney with Brian Proctor, and we are out.